we used to own a vineyard and the Nebraska Winery and Grape Growers Association has a big conference uh, every year. I'd been at the conference all day and Nan was coming up to the dinner and we have some friends that were coming to the dinner and we were going to spend the night and it was going to be a great weekend and uh, I get a call about four in the afternoon and said, sorry hon, I got the girls. Our son called her and said, uh, can you pick up the girls? And then said, no. Well, I was on my way to the beauty shop. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, no. said, well, the police are here. I want to take them away. Yeah. Three or four days later, the worker, the social worker came by. And said, well, this is just a dirty house thing. This is probably six weeks. And they'll get their house cleaned up and then things will be cleared off. Well, three years later, uh, yeah. we're still in it. We live in Washington County. There's not a lot of promotion of different kinds of programs that gets out to Washington County. And so we had a really great person at DHS office in Blair. She's kind of the foster helper or whatever. I've been asking her, you know, if you come across something, let me know. And she sent, she sent us this and then we signed up right away. We had some anticipation on our own part in terms of getting some information. It's been a long time since we've raised kids and we were isolated. Well, all our friends bailed on us. I mean, we couldn't go out to movies uh, spontaneous anymore or go to dinner or, you know. Spend the weekend and Yeah, wherever. let's go spend the weekend. So, you know, we couldn't do that anymore. And so we had become very isolated. I just remember the first meeting walking in it's the first place in three years I've been able to talk about how I feel. No judgment, everybody was going, mm-hmm, uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, there was, because we, we were all this in the same, we're all grandparents, mm -hmm. you know. We, we were all feeling abandoned. We were all feeling isolated. And it was just such a relief to be with a group of people that I didn't have to explain why I took my grandkids, and I think and that's huge. A lot of huge. our friends, you know, says, how can you do that? And we and the other f people that we've met here have all been, well, how could you not? Mm -hmm. and we gained so much information and so much help in really understanding where our kids were and what we needed to change about how we were in re interacting with them um, to help them grow and develop. A little bit better and this is so good because you've got the programs and the research behind yeah. it that shows that it's effective. I think that whole circle of security training that we went through was enormously helpful. We sat down with that after that class and was like this explains what does what she does. We get it and we can see that when they're down in the bottom this is what we need to do to get them back up, and we've really been trying to do that, and it's made a world of difference. What I notice is a difference in the, in the younger one, and how we are really more directing and molding her based on a lot of the things we learned in that time we were here. Yeah. The compassion and the understanding of the people in this building, you feel it when you walk in, and that's, that's what I appreciate. Mm -hmm.